We've got company, and not the nice kind either. Rinwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target, at least. Don't underestimate its speed. Keep them pointed toward the enemy. You're on my watch! Ready to go! Seal! You're mine! This is a baby! Light up the water! It's full of force! Light up the water! Here I come! It's over! Light up the water! Light up the water! You're mine! In here! You're finished! Get on in there with the other! You're mine! Here goes! You're finished! A banana! Let's go! Here I come! I'm not done! Inferno Torrent! Yeah. By the... You're 
work. I said almost, but don't prepare anyone. Here, let me help. Let's you Let's get you all tucked away. Light astral energy! No! Can't get... Okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine. Did all of this? was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again. Sisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Hmm. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. 
somehow we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Are those mage clothes that you're wearing? So what if they are? The large hood is cute, and it's big enough to hold Hoodle, too. Huh? And the way the fabric is cut into strips is really unique. I had no idea this sort of fashion existed on Dana. C -c quit staring! Did I say something to offend you? No, I think she's just not used to the attention. As if this place wasn't cold enough, it's also pitch black. I'm amazed anyone can live in this realm. Seriously? Having all this snow everywhere makes it harder to walk or get anything done. And not having any light to see by makes the uneven terrain even more difficult. Calaglia is no walk in the park either. It's dusty and there's rocks everywhere. And it's on fire all over the place. Yeah, you're right. Now that you mention it, all those fires are a pretty weird phenomenon. They were always so annoying to navigate around. Out here, fire's as important as water to our survival. So are the trees we use for firewood. Is it that rare to see the sun here? Not just rare. Until I went to Calaglia, I'd never seen sunlight before. I'd only heard about it. I couldn't believe just how hot and bright it seemed to be. But I guess in most realms, it's just a fact of life. They're used to it. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way the sorts of things people take for granted change from one place to another. This should definitely keep you guys full. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. I think he's saying something's over there. Friends, Hoodle? What's going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? What is this place? I see something big farther in. Is that a Zookle? 
No. An owl? <laughs> Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. <laughs> This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal, don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are. And a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on?
I think Hudo senses an owl around here. So the guys we saw back in Messia were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is... The Silver Swords. Heck, we even have members working within the Snake Eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double-crossing. It does, but it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated without those double agents. Like it could be worth something. No choice. Next. You're mine. One more. It's, it's over. Put the marks in. You're mine. This one's mine. Let's get you off. You're today. mine. I'm not so good at an airborne Damn. target. Got flyers. I got this. Let a marksman handle it. Sleep now. All yours. Strike. Burning strike. You didn't make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought... They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, a Zoogle took a bite out of two of our guys, but... What matters is you're safe. So, are you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Shion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? 
Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. Like this should be easy. Take this. Not today. Dance in the way. Try this. Take this. It's over. We've got flyers. I got it. Let a marksman handle it. Take this. All yours. You got company. We're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the cross. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Take this. It's over. There. One more! Dance in the wind! Here I come! Arch Shield! Uh -huh. Don't mind if I do! Now! Here I go! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Well, looky here! Give you. Here I come. It's over. You're mine. You're finished. Slash. Right here. I'm not done. Where are you going? Take this. Here. Let now. Me it's over. Astral energy. Full throttle. Take this. It's over. Here to light You're mine. I'm out of ammo. You're finished. First aid. I owe you one. Strike. Rising Wyvern! Dance into the way! <laughs> Together, that wasn't even a problem. of the trash. Eat them! You're mine! Come and face me! Demon Fang! Take this! I never miss! No escape! Do it! Do it! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! With your flames and my technique... We're stronger together than we are apart. I can feel my power growing! This will be a delicious piece of cake! Take this! It's over! I'll take you all off! Here goes! Not on my watch! Here goes! Searing blue!
With this, I can become even stronger. Check the owl forest? That equipment should come in handy. Let's dispose of the trash. Try this. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the truck. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Onward and upward. An opponent like this should be easy. Mine. Where are you going? Thunder Here flame. I come! Searing flame! Try this! Hear me! Burning strike! This one's all mine! Lightning orb! Sweet dreams! <laughs> You're most comfortable at a range, aren't you? I'm not really built for close quarters combat. So, this ends now! Consider yourself finished! This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Cisloden's an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden.
convince one of your friends, Hoodle? So this is Sisladen, capital city of Sislodia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zoogle's den here. Saying we should check the owl forest? this there with me if you say so come on menix waiting we can talk in there the name's menix leader of the silver swords and i wish i could extend my warmest welcome to you all but if my eyes don't deceive me you appear to have a Renan in your midst. If she is your prisoner, that's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But... I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. 
We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here. To help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the Floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. All right, let's head into town and see what the fuss is. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Have you and Menek known each other for long, Rinwell? No, not really. I haven't been with the Silver Swords for all that long, truth be told. He's a smart guy, but he's also deeply suspicious of other people. I can understand, since that's how you get to survive around here. Really? I could tell he was wary of us at first, but he seemed to warm up to us pretty quickly once we talked to him. Yeah, that's pretty unusual for him. I think that's a sign of how desperate things have become. In my case, it took a long time for him to start trusting me. But then again, I kind of get where he's coming from. You never know who might betray the group, or when the Snake Eyes might be watching. What made you join up with the Silver Swords in the first place? This wasn't your hometown, so... Was it the Snake Eyes who... No. It wasn't them. I just... Actually, we shouldn't stand around talking. People will start to suspect us. Let's keep moving.
So that's where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. Damn. You can see where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. What could possibly be worth the risk of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Be careful. If anyone's even a little suspicious of us, they'll report us immediately. Right. It's not just Snake Eyes we need to watch out for, but other Denons too. Still, there are a fair amount of people out on the streets. Isn't it safer to stay at home? That's the thing. If you stay cooped up too long, people start to suspect you're hiding something. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So people feel like they have no choice but to turn others in so they don't get in trouble. What a miserable way to live. At the very least, we should probably go someplace where there aren't so many- Ah, uh, Shion! We already stick out here like a sore thumb as it is. So I think it's better if we just walk confidently out in the open. Don't look anxious. Just walk firmly and look like you have a destination in mind. What, is sticking to the plan too much of a hassle for her? This is why Renans are the worst. I don't know if it's a Renan thing or not, but she does have a point. Anyway, we're not gonna get anywhere just standing around. Let's follow after her. Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness day and night. It's bound to weigh you down. Not to mention all the snake eyes roaming around. Laughing, talking too loud, or just about anything that makes you stand out can get you killed.
way. Hmm? Why you? Huh? Why you? Sorry. A voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully, it's nothing that. Hmm. 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 Right. 